Welcome back to uh, welcome to the channel, and today I'm going to be doing a epic rant. I'm gonna be doing a rant. Um, I'm gonna be doing a rant now. This is I'm actually gonna be doing a series of rants about films I don't like, and this is gonna be a very controversial series. But I don't care. Don't care. This is our channel, and if you agree with my opinions. I want another comment below before I get into the video. Let me know some questions you want to ask me below. Things you want to ask me. They can be personal, funny. Doesn't matter. Because I want to do a video where I answer you guys' questions. But I need at least 5 to 10 to 20 good questions. Let's get into the video. Man, Halloween Resurrection is a huge missed opportunity. I see this film as a huge missed opportunity. You got Buster Rhymes that said trick or treat motherfucker. You know, you got him in there. Again, I like Buster Rhymes, but for some reason I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. And Resurrection is just a lame excuse to make another Halloween sequel, in my opinion. It's a terrible it's a terrible way of explaining what happened at the end of H two O basically saying Michael Myers was, in, was standing there naked in public, basically, you know, changing it into the paramedics' clothes. There's basically no score in this. This is one of the lamest Halloween scores. There's no score. Like, do not come at me and say, Halloween Resurrection is the best Halloween, best kills. No. Um, I was watching one of his videos. That's why I'm looking at the TV because I don't want to butcher his name. Dave McRee, Dave McRee, I think that's his name. I was watching his rant on Halloween Resurrection. That's where I got my inspiration from this video at. Yeah, and I agree with him. Like, Michael Myers acts like a sim. And it's just, he does act like a sim. And he does act like a sim. Like, he's in a simulation or something. That's what he acts like a lot of times in this film. And, like I said, there's no score in this. You hear rousing noises. What is that? Like, every time Michael walked into a room, you heard a rattlesnake noise. Why did I have to hear a rattle, rattlesnake noise when Michael walked into a room? I don't know. I don't know that answer. Why I had to hear that in my ears. Um, For some reason, Michael Myers gets karate kicked. And then, like, um, Freddy... Um, Freddy, which is Buster Rhymes' character, sitting there yelling at the top of his lungs to Michael, cussing him out and all, and all this great shit. Sitting there, no one else hears Freddy, number one. Number two, uh, this was just a stupid scene, you know, it made Michael a little bit. Like, it really did. Like, it made Michael <laughs> seem like he was nothing. Basically, because you would think Michael would kill him. No, Michael just walks away and goes about his business. That's not Michael Myers. At least that's not my Michael Myers. And for some reason, we had to see Michael Myers' eyes in this. Michael Myers had an afro <laughs> from like the beginning of the film. Um, there's really nothing good about this film. The mask is decent. The mask is okay. It's okay. I mean, the Halloween 5 mask and the Halloween Resurrection mask, they're both bad masks. But if I had to prefer one over the other, I prefer the Resurrection mask. My opinion. But, yeah, like, the Halloween 5 and Resurrection mask, they're both bad masks. But if I had to pick one, I'm picking the Resurrection mask over the worst mask of all time, which is the Halloween 5 mask. But, my opinion. You know... Halloween Resurrection rely too much on on the on the times. Or what I mean on the times rely too much on reality TV show, rely too much on cams and all that, which was going around in 2002, in 2001 when this was filmed. It relied too much on the technology around that time, so it makes the film feel outdated. And a lot of times, you had to see it through grainy camera shots. <laughs> The kills in this, like I said, there's really no kills in this. It's very bland and boring. Um, man, and there's just plot holes, like, all through around. And one thing that always confuses me, 
um, is tunnel under the house. These tunnels under the Again, it's just another excuse to to expand the house because you need a big house to do what? To f I'm not getting it, but Halloween Resurrection is just a lame excuse to make another sequel. Until my opinion, we need a retcon Halloween Resurrection. You know, this Halloween Resurrection is not a good sequel. It's one of the worst sequels. I even will say it's worse than Seed of Chucky. I will go on to that level and say it's worse than Seed of Chucky. I know the two different franchises, but the, that's one of the other worst horror movies that came to my mind is Seed of Chucky. You know what I mean? Halloween Resurrection, to me, I just see it as bland, boring, lame, and and just a sorry piece of pile of shit. Like, that's what, legit, like, what I see it as. Um... Because you gotta think, when Michael was switching clothes, he had to be bare naked. You know, like, yeah, like, he had to be. And we had to see Michael's eyes through a majority of the film. Michael had to get karate kicked. Michael acted like a little robot in this. There was really nothing interesting about this film. It was very bland and stupid. And, but again, you know, I feel like it's sad in a lot of ways because the director of Halloween 2 came back and did Resurrection. But I feel like that it's not the director's fault. You can't really blame him because if you're handed a bad script, same thing with actors. If you're given a bad script, guess what? You can't direct a good movie. You can't act in it. If you're given a bad script, you can't direct it good, you cannot act it good, it cannot save the thing. And I'm not hating on the girl that was the lead in this. This was a waste of money. Because the, if y'all don't know the girl who was in Halloween Resurrection, the lead girl that survived with Freddy, she couldn't scream. So all the screaming that she did, they had to get a they had to get a voice actor. To come in, voice over her, she would go, and someone would scream over her. Waste the money. Waste the money. You seriously hired somebody to scream for this girl when you can hire somebody to scream in the film in the first place instead of hiring somebody putting in the screams in post production. Blows my mind. It blows my mind. Um, and then, you know, when they kill Laurie Strode off, you're thinking, well, they're going to do something epic. Now, no. It's entertainment time. It's entertainment. Like a modern, it's not a sound bite. That's what we got. That That's what we had to get with this film. That's what we had to get. And to me, I'd rather had H2O than that's it. Like, I'd legit rather have no resurrection at all because... Resurrection is just a bland, stupid excuse for a horror movie, and one of the worst horror movies, one of the worst Michael Myers movies I have seen. And I'm not joking when I say this, I have not seen Halloween Resurrection, I have not put that in to my Blu-ray player, my PlayStation, I have not put it in there since 2016 or 2014. Okay, because I hate that film. I cannot watch it. If I watch Halloween Resurrection, it's because I don't know what to do. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you, you have those moments where you don't know what to watch on Netflix, or you don't know what to watch in your Blu-ray collection, or you don't know what video game to play, or, you know, you don't know if you should take a nap, you know what I mean? That's what Halloween Resurrection is. You just pop it in because you don't know what to do, and about half of the time, you just, you know, go into your phone, playing, the, you know, that's what you're doing. But you're watching Halloween Resurrection. You you know, if you got to use the bathroom, are you going to pause Halloween Resurrection? No. You might take the case and use that as toilet paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like I said, Halloween Resurrection is just a stupid excuse for a film. And I do not praise this film. It's trash. It's dog. Like, that's what this film is to me. I just feel like they went into a whole nother level. You know, there's a level of we need to make a film for money, and then there's just, we don't care, we need to put a film out for the rights, for the money, that's what we need to do. Cool, right? 
That's what Resurrection is to me. I would never watch Resurrection. If I do watch Resurrection, it's because, like I said, I don't know what to watch. I don't know what to do. You know, like, Halloween Resurrection, I had to do this rant. It's way overdue, but I said I'm going to start with Halloween Resurrection. I'm going to do a new series where I rip movies apart that I feel like is bad. And, the, you know, this, you know, I'm going to be doing some movies that... Are very divisive and is very that are good films, but I just don't like it. They could be big nitpicks like this right here, or they could just be piles like this film. Halloween Resurrection, I hate this film from start to finish. I cannot enjoy it for a second. Um, for some, there's just I can make ten videos doing it rant on Halloween Resurrection and reasons why I don't feel like it should be in continuity at all. Because they have this film just gets to me. It's not that hard to make a Michael Myers movie, especially when Laurie's out the picture. Like it's not that hard. Not that hard. I'm sorry, but it's not that hard. I'm just saying it's not that hard. Um, instead, we had to go to the Dangertainment route, which I don't know why. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new. We upload daily here. And let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me that Halloween Resurrection? It's just a missed opportunity in a boring film. There's nothing good about this film. The mask, the mask is almost a saving grace, but the mask, the mask is like a four. No, I would give the mask a six. The Halloween Five mask, I would give a four. This whole film, I would give a three. I think that's what I said in my revisiting review. I, I give it. A, a, a three. You know, I I could give it a five for trying to do something different, but that's about it. I can't. I can't understand this film and why the writer has said, "Hey, this is how many do Michael Myers. When you get the entertainment up in here, we need to do a reality type thing, whatever." Yeah. But if you do agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Catch everyone in the next video. Have a great night or day or morning whenever you're watching this. Catch everyone in the next one.